Hello everyone, I'm with Khalil Wallace, budding photographer from Atlanta, Georgia. How are you doing today, Khalil? Doing good, Greg. What's up? Alright, you started doing photography at a pretty young age. How old were you when you first started? I was 18 years old when I first started doing photography. Honestly, I wasn't really even into it until my cousin moved in. When he moved in, he had his own camera, so I'm like, give it a try. And presto, three years later, I'm doing it so what kind of inspired you to start in kind of a jokey not serious way like it was one of those days I asked hey guess the camera we'll hang out with my friends he said yes um we go out take pictures have a, have a good time but when I look back when I got home at the pictures it kind of blew my mind how good they turned out to be mm -hmm. like I got the lighting right like and I wasn't even trying, and it ended up turning out really well. So, right there, I was like, yeah, I got something, so I'm going to just keep going at it. So, do you just take photographs of your friends, or do you do different things, or, you know, how does that work for you? I go out pretty much every week and take pictures of things that really interest me, like graffiti, um, stores, even people, people I meet on the street, like, hey... You have a great outfit on. Can I please take a picture of you? Mm -hmm. They say yes, or they say, they'll say you're a weirdo. Get away from me. <laughs> you know the usual kind of stuff. But yeah, just things that really interest me. Okay. So what do you enjoy the most about taking pictures? Meeting new people. That's the best thing ever. Cause you can link up with new people and um, uh, they'll link up with other people. And say, hey, this guy takes great shots. Mm -hmm. Which brings them such and such, or bring her here to, uh, to a party or bring to a wedding, like just linking up with new people on the streets is the best thing ever because you can get your name out there. You can be you can be at a concert recording videos for like Yachty, Pump, Kendrick, um, Big Sean, etc. So that's probably the best thing about it. It's happened a few times to me. Okay. So would you say that photography is just what you kind of want to do or do you want to expand further than just photography like film and things of that nature uh i want to expand to do film eventually i don't have a film camera at all and um i am in the process of getting one like i really want one for um, film because i want to do sci-fi films eventually mm -hmm. so i'm just trying to expand my horizon when it comes to um videos pictures uh at the moment i just bought a Portaroid, hold on. It's by a Portaroid camera, like really, really useful. It is. Yeah. Really great camera, great for parties, mostly. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, this film come out the top of it? Oh, yes, actually. We took a few shots today. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. See? That's nice. That's yeah. nice. Great shot of Greg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, what inspires you to take pictures to basically get up and you know do what you do honestly just meeting new people mm. that's one of the biggest things and um watching short films mm -hmm. like recently i just watched this uh short film um called super eight not the movie that came up directed by jj abram but using that super eight camera and recording things was just it was just amazing to me like that just really blew my mind when it came to it that's so yeah that's one of the things yeah. so Khalil, cool. who are your favorite photographers uh i have two honestly it's um cole sprout which you probably know from riverdale and sleep life of zach and kelly and um a photographer goes by the name 28 no 128 i know odd name but he takes amazing shots for um, concerts and um, landscaping. It's amazing. Cool. So, this is going to sound like an odd question, but how do you feel about Instagram photographers who kind of take uh, very odd shots? I, honestly, I hate them. They're like the worst photographers. Those are the photographers you see mostly take pictures of half-naked girls, bring them to the woods, take pictures of them. And it's put on Instagram. Mostly, half of them mostly go for, um, will go on Tumblr. We call those Tumblr photographers. Like, low, terrible. There's no art when it comes to it. It's just really simple. Take a 
have a girl in some um, nice panties, take her out there, take a picture of them, bring her back. Hey, all right, and just, and just put a tree on her or something. It's ridiculous. No, it's one of the worst things ever. So, what would you say to anyone who wants to start doing photography but kind of has a hard time finding where to start? Mmm, that's kind of easy, actually. I mean, just pick up a camera. You can start with anything. You can start with a Polaroid or iPhone, a camera. You can start with anything easy. Just um, ask people around your family. You can start taking pictures of your mom if you want to or your dad. There's little things that interest you. Like, just get your name out there. That's the most important thing. Get your name out there. Tell me about you. Make your own cards. Like, hey, my name's such and such. Can you um, give me a look? I take to do pictures, do film. They'll hit you back up eventually. So you're going to have that one guy like, hey, this guy seems good. He seems cheap. Boom. Your name's out there. Easy. Do you plan on having your own, like, studio? Or is that just not your style? Honestly, when I'm in my probably late twenties or maybe early thirties, I want to try to be like a, a young entrepreneur, have my own business, have my own people that take pictures, they show me like, oh, that's good. Have like try to like work something out, like try to get my picture on a calendar, or like even even take shots for um films like Marvel, excuse me, and um shots like even um even shots in the TV show Stranger Things, okay. like just amazing things like that. All right, cool. Well, I want to thank you for, you know, giving me the time to interview you today. I've seen your photos, and uh, I think they're quite amazing to look at. So, uh, thank you for your time today. Um, I hope to see you around anytime. All right. Thank you for having me.